in this video we are going to add debuffs to the game or at least we're going to create one debuff for the game and then we are going to add the rest in the next videos so the first debuff i would like to create is the fire debuff and we will do it step by step so that you can see how everything works um, just to make sure that we know where everything is and keep everything in order i would like to go to the scripts folder and inside the scripts folder i would like to create a new um, new folder called debuffs so right click and say create folder and call it debuffs inside the debuffs folder we will have to create our debuff structure so first of all we need a super class for our debuffs so right click create c sharp script and call it debuff so this class here will have all the general functionality in it so that we um, can remove the debuff and add them and everything and give damage or whatever they need to do and then we will have the specialized uh, classes underneath so we can create a new one called fire debuff for example so th this is all we need to create for now and we will add more later but for now let's, let's just work on the fire debuff first of all open up the normal debuff um, and find the script and in here it doesn't need to inherit from mono behavior because it's not going to be a mono behavior we are going to handle the updating and everything ourselves so yeah the first thing we need is an actual target and we will fill more stuff into this class later but uh, let's try to make a protected monster called target and the reason this is protected is because the fire debuff needs to inherit from this one so if we go to the debuffs folder and open up fire debuff this one doesn't need to inherit from mono behavior but it needs to inherit from the debuff class because it's going to be of a type debuff so let's write debuff when we have done that we can go back to debuffs and make sure that this class is a abstract class so that we can't have a debuff existing alone in the game we would only want to be able to have a fire debuff to exist in the game this is only for giving some functionality for other debuffs or all the debuffs okay so this code is going to be a little complex and we will actually have to write quite a lot of code before we can actually test it I, I know normally I will always write a little code and test it but before we can test these things we will actually have to write a lot of lines of code so let's see where do we want to start we have debuffs here inside the debuff we will have to add some different uh, functions first of all the debuff needs a target here because the debuff needs to know what kind of target it needs to hit so for now let's just clear out update and start delete them and we can create a constructor called public void ah no void sorry debuff this is our debuff constructor right whenever we create a new debuff we will need to tell it what target it has so we can write monster target and then we can say this the target equals target so now when we create a debuff we can tell it that it needs the target right um yeah that's it for now let's see what else we will have to remove it at some point and we will have to update it at some point but uh, let's leave this for now um, or actually let's make a new update function because we need it for the next one we need to make a public virtual void update and the reason that it's virtual is because that i would like to override it in the subclasses and when it's all written then i can call the base classes of course but right now we don't need any functionality here we just need to tell the tower uh, the debuff script that we need to update it and updating is the same as for example dealing damage right so on every update it can give some tick damage to the target it's on for example so if we go to the fire debuff here we delete start and update and in here we can actually start to do some damage to our target maybe so let's say we have our public override update and yeah just leave base update that's fine it's going to call the update up here so 
we have a target, right? And the reason that I can reach my target down here is simply because my monster up here is protected. When something is protected, I can reach it down in the subclass. We also need to create a constructor, so public fire debuff, and we need a monster called target. And right now, we need to pass on this target to this constructor up here. To do so, we do like this, base target. Oh, ah, sorry. So this line of code here actually execute this line of code. Now we're passing on this. Now we're creating a target. And yeah, in update, well, in update, we will have to do some damage to our monster, right? So let's say target dot take damage. Let's just give it one damage and element dot fire. So let's just try to deal one damage here in update. It's fine. So our monsters needs to be able to handle debuffs. So go to the uh, monster script. Let's see where do we have that it's towers monster, and we need to create a new list here. So let's make a new private list of debuffs because it needs more debuffs. So we create a list called debuffs. So now we have a list of debuffs, right? So we need to add every single debuff to this list here so that we can actually update all the debuffs. So let's see if we go down here. Let's make a new function. Public void add debuff. So this function here is going to add a new debuff to our our tower, um, and it's going to say debuffs dot add. And we need a new debuff here. So when we call add debuffs it add debuff it will take in a new debuff and add it to the list so the reason that i'm just not making the list public is because we need some more functionality here so that we can actually um, check if the debuff already exists right because for example we don't want the monster to have 10 fire debuffs on it if it has 10 fire debuffs then it dies right away right so just to balance out the difficulty in the game i'll make sure that we can only have one debuff of one type at a time, right? We can have one frost, one poison, and one fire on the same monster, but we can't have two fire debuffs on the same monster. So we can say if debuffs dot exist. So we're checking on every single debuff in uh, the list. We call it x every time we find a debuff. If that x dot get type. Is equal to debuff dot get type. Then we add the debuff, right? And we have the exclam exclamation mark here. So we check the list of debuffs. There's a function called exists. Exists looks through every single element in the list. Every time we find an element, we call it x, and we check if the x type is equal to the debuff type. So the x is the one on the list. If that type is equal to the same type as we have up here, we are trying to apply, then we don't apply it. But if the uh, what's it called is, is if it's different, well then we apply it. So this code here would be the same to, to make a for each loop that runs through um, debuffs, like so, and then we check if item dot debuff. Get type is isn't equal to debuff. Dot get type and so on. This is exactly this code here. It's going to be the same as this one up here. This is just a shorter form of doing it. Okay. Just not to just so there's no confusion. As you saw before, we created an update function that will deal one damage to the target on every update. This is not what we want right, right, right uh, in the end. This is just for testing because we would like it to tick slower, of course. But I'm just going to show you how stuff works. So in the monster, we will have to make a new function also 
call private void handle debuffs. Okay, handle debuffs is going to run through all the debuffs in in our debuff list list up here, right? It's going to run through this and it's going to update them all so that it deals damage or slows the target or whatever they need to do. So for each debuff in debuffs, we say debuff dot dot update. So update every single debuff. Handle debuff needs to be executed inside update. And there we go. And then we save. Okay. So now we will need to add a debuff to um, to the target, right? And we need to do that in the projectile. So let's go to projectile. So projectile needs a new function called uh, apply debuff. So apply debuff will add a debuff to the target that it just hit, right? Just going to move it a little up here so it's not under to enter. And then we say, we're just going to test this right now. We will add more functionality here, but we'll just say, uh, target dot add debuff mm, let's see new fire debuff for now okay so now all projectiles will give a fire debuff on the target this is not ideal we will have to make sure that it applies the right debuff but for now we're just testing as i said and you will get a better understanding if we do this step by step now we have apply debuff here. Well, apply debuff needs to be called somewhere, and we need to call it inside on trigger enter, as we have here. So if we hit a monster and everything, we can say apply debuff. So if we jump back into Unity and try to play the game um, and spawn a fire tower, for example, you'll see that this will die pretty fast because it just sucks the life out of this one, right? Because on every update, the fire debuff just really reduces the health totally. So also another thing we will fix up right now is the fact that a storm tower also has a fire debuff. So when it hits the target, it sucks the life out of it like that. So this just makes sure that the towers has the right debuff. So in apply debuff, we don't need to put fire debuff. We will need to go to each tower script because this is why we created the different scripts. For example, let's go to the fire tower. Inside the fire tower, we will have to make a function called um, get debuff. And I think we actually need to create it up here first. Let's see. We should create a abstract function. And make it public abstract void get, uh, not void debuff get debuff so this will return a debuff of a specific type right and it's abstract of course so it doesn't need a body so get debuff will return a debuff of a specific type go here and say implement abstract class and I would like to put this under here and I can just take this one, copy it, go to Frost Tower, and paste it here. Go to Poison Tower, paste it here. Storm Tower, paste it here. And for now, return null inside Storm Tower, and return null inside the Poison Tower, and return null inside the fr Frost Tower because we haven't created those debuffs yet. Inside fire tower, we say return new fire debuff. And it needs a target. And the tower should have a target somehow. There we go. So now we return the fire debuff, which means that we can go to our projectile 
and say target dot add debuffs parent dot uh, get debuff. So we use apply debuff, which takes the target and adds a debuff to it by using the parent's debuff. Okay, the parent is the tower that the projectile uh, comes from, so it will apply the correct debuff. Yeah. So in this case, if we jump back to Unity and I remember to save here and play, the fire tower should still be able to attack the monsters and suck the life out of it um, and we should get a null reference I think if we do like this because it returns null yeah there we get the null reference so to fix the null reference we simply have to go to our debuffs here we have this debuff we can just create a new frost debuff and poison debuff and so on so let's just do that real quick here create a new C sharp script call frost debuff and create one called poison debuff and create one called what was this last one storm debuff okay so now we have the debuffs let's open up the scripts Rust. It doesn't need to inherit from mono behavior, it needs to inherit from the debuff. And we can remove these and generate the constructor. And what else? Let's see here. We have update. Mm, what do we have in fire tower? Uh, not fire tower, fire debuff. There, sorry. Yeah, it just updates. So. Basically, we don't need to put anything in the others. So we have frost debuff with a constructor. We have poison. Delete this. Inherit from debuff. Right click on poison. Quick actions. Generate constructor. If you can't do that, then just write this code yourself. Storm debuff. You need to inherit from debuff. And generate the constructor here. And there we go. And this means that we can go to our um, towers here, frost tower, and return new frost debuff with a target. And the same goes for poison. We can return new poison, poison debuff. And in storm, we can return new storm debuff there we go so now um, we can return the correct debuffs on every single um, um, tower and this means if we play the game again we will not have the null reference so if I place a fire tower right it will kill the monster very fast because it has a debuff but if I place a storm tower, uh, this one is a storm one, let's try again, storm, yeah. if I place storm tower, it will not add the debuff as you can see. So now we have made sure that we can create specific debuffs for each tower, right? Of course the debuff doesn't work as intended yet, but we will add that in the next video because I can see this is getting... Uh, quite long so I think this is what I want to do in this video and in the next video we are going to um, make sure that the tick damage on the fire tower is correct and we will add functionality to the other debuffs as well so thanks for watching and don't forget to follow subscribe and uh, like my Facebook page also if you want to support me you can support me in different ways you can support me on Patreon if you do so you will be able to download every single uh, project from my YouTube channel and all the assets and everything or you can support me by getting the project and the assets for a single project by clicking the link in the bottom of the screen. So thanks for watching.